Hi guys, so today is another travel day for Sebastian and I and our destination today is Taumina. I'm currently at the Chefalu train station and waiting for the train to come and total journey time today is about five hours so we've purchased our tickets, got a 9.15 um, train ride out and from there we go from Chefalu to uh, Messina, stop over for a little bit and then go to Taumina. Okay, so we've arrived in Taramina. We've just got a taxi and we're heading upwards into the hill. Um, so it's 20 euros and we'll be up there very shortly. All right, so we've just checked into the Hotel Victoria. Um, this is an older style hotel, um, but it is very centrally located and right below us um, our balcony points out to the Corso Humberto, which is a main passageway which looks like there's a lot of shops and restaurants and all those lovely things so that would be nice to visit tonight. Right now it is stinking hot, I'm trying to figure out how to work the air conditioning um, and then after this we're heading off to the beach um, on the Teleforique. So we've just purchased our tickets, three euros, and we're on the way down on the cable cart to the beach. Oh, what an awesome ride down, and that was very quick. So today is day two here in beautiful Taromina and we have woken up to this beautiful scrumptious breakfast. We're going to start off with a nice stroll on the Corso Umberto um, and then we'll go and see some of the ancient ruins nearby. We've also walked to go to a beach bar and we may see if we can catch a beautiful sunset in one of the rooftop bars. So we're walking down the Curso Umberto, the main strip here uh, where all the shops and the action is. It's a little bit more calmer here this morning. Last night you couldn't even move, um, <laughs> but the atmosphere was awesome. It was quite electric actually. So uh, off to discover. So today we've made it to the Teatro um, here in uh, Taramina. This is the ancient theatre built in the 3rd century BC and it is beautiful. It's in this part of the city which is elevated and it just looks out into the distance towards Mount Etna and the sea. So I've just come to a look out here just to the side of the theatre which looks out over Taormina. Sebastian's in the shade at the moment and he'll be coming a bit later but uh, I just thought that whilst I get a quiet moment I'll just get this particular shot which is really mm -hmm. taking my breath away mm -hmm. at this point in time. Buongiorno. Fresco, bio, fresco, bio, grande, uh, e pesto. Melo grande. Yeah. Prego, signor. 
Ciao. So I've ordered a pomegranate juice, um, and this is just to uh, detox from last night's oh, this is nice. alcohol. And I am continuing to uh, tox, to tox myself, like you know, like detox or tox. He doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. Okay, he's so, continuing to intoxicate himself. That's okay. Right. So this is a red ale from Mount Edna, straight from the middle of the actual volcano. So we've just finished at the theatre, had a drink, and now we're heading off to the beach. We've got a transfer, and our transfer has arrived. So we've just come out of Taumina to um, the beaches here nearby, so a little bit out of the town, and uh, we're at a beach bar, um, beach club. Um, so now we're just gonna have a bit of a swim, and the water is so beautiful. Okay, so we are all settled here at the uh, beach. Um, this is the Sol Luna Beach. We've got our umbrella and our two sunbeds, um, and this was something that we coordinated through our hotel. Um, so, how much did we um, sort this one out for? So, the price of this uh, place was uh, 16 euros per person with a pickup included from the hotel back and forth. So this was just something that we thought we'd uh, do and uh, just to see some of the beautiful beaches because when you're traveling through Taramina, there's all these wonderful beaches that you go past which are absolutely packed mm. with people at this time of the year. So now we're on one of those beaches. <music> You know, every corner that we actually turn here in Taramina, there's history. And uh, we've just come down the side um, of the uh, main um, uh, walkway, Corso Umberto. And just to the bottom, okay, all these um, places which we think are, you know, kind of built really recently, um, we'll say in the last hundred years, they're actually built, okay, on top of ruins that are there from thousands of years back. Look at this. So we've just stopped to go and get some gelato. I've got a nice chocolate one. Mm. Wow, it's so rich. It's perfect. It's like heaven on a stick. We've just ventured down to the south side of the town, um, away from the main strip. Um, and it just goes down and down and down. So I'm not quite near the beach, but the view from this point is stunning. Check out this view. Amazing. So we've just left uh, Taramina. My honest opinion of the place was that it was absolutely beautiful and well worth the trip. So I think one of the biggest tips is to actually go down the side alleyways, which can lead to different areas of the city, which is not so frequently by the tourists. So for a small little town, okay, there is um, all these different things to do. So definitely don't shortchange your time in Taramina. And uh, if you have a few days spare, stay. Highly recommend. So for now, uh, we are headed to our next stop, which is? Yeah, so we're going to Catania now, and we're gonna spend the next few days in Catania um, before we travel on to Malta. Mm -hmm. 